morning, brothers and sisters, we give thanks to God for all his wonderful blessings he has given us. Uh, we are so pleased for bringing us once more again uh, to worship him and to adore him and to praise his holy name. I mean, you know, yeah, Daniel Kopon Asi. Now, who are they? Nishira, ah, what they are mine. Ah, what's this year? I ain't the year said, Nancy, you bet you will be moon. Now, you ain't to me and some no. Now, you ain't shiny din crocono and no yam. We are so grateful for 2021. This is the second Sunday of 2021. Uh, who thought 2021 would come? Why never Edwin said? 2021, but 2021, there is no one who can stop the time. I can say, I can say, I can say, I can say, the time is moving. So what you want to do, you have to do it. Because there is no time to waste. Forward, ever. Backwards, never. Uh, we will thank God for our brother, Bonsu, for reading the scriptures for us. Our Bible reading uh, this morning was from the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. The Bible, it said, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift you in, up in his countenance upon you and give you peace. Nyankopon and Shirao. Nyankopon, Bible na reading na yet kind. Or say Nyankopon and Shirao. Nyankopon and Trin and Ni, I will also. Na Oma was soon gray. I will bring Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. 26. So today, the title of my sermon is, Do you want to be blessed or prosper in this new year? Do you want to be blessed or prosper in this new year? Yeah. Do you want to be blessed? This is the title of my sermon today. Uh, just as we all know, 2020 has been a very tough year. Has been a very, very tough year. Not only for the church, but almost everyone and even the whole world, it has been a rough year. There are lots of death from the coronavirus. Uh, it has been a disaster. Uh, throughout the whole world and it's still continuing and we our prayers and thanks to God is that this will be brought to an end God holds the key to everything he knows the origin of everything 2020 uh, I and so twenty twenty one we no to me a um it's a rough year financial difficulty brought almost every family sometimes the government has to give up money to people. I uh, have to give you some stimulus money because people are staying at home. And uh, if you don't work, how are you going to get money to take care of your, 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 your living, your family? It's a difficult deal. So do you want to be, uh, do you want to prosper in 2021? Or do you want to be blessed in 2021? It's our lesson this morning. Um, you know, we, I'm just talking to you here because of what happened in 2020. 
we are not meeting physically, uh, but we know that God knows everything. So the blessings that he will give to us when we meet is the same blessing he will give to us when we are doing the worship on phone because God knows what has happened. God knows. So we have to keep that in mind. I say, yet this idea to you, I do say, and yes, I ain't she ain't, you know, I just say, yeah, I'm sorry, I am, yeah, and I am pie by your bono, and Yankopon won't you. We don't have to think that because we are not physically meeting, and therefore God is not going to listen to our prayers, or God is not going to be happy with us. No, God is a spirit. And though those worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. God do not have a location. John chapter 4, verse 23. God do not have a location. So that is the message we should realize, that God is with us always, and that prosperity will come, and it will come to us. But we need to do something. Because God is a great God. He holds everything. All riches, all peace, and everything is in his hand. But what can we do so that God extend his hand for us? Our lesson today is what can we do? for all these things. No. Uh, you, you go to the separate word, you see, when we want to define blessings and prosperity, um, they have different definitions, but one of the best definitions is that prosperity is worth, health, and happiness. I think this is a very good definition. Prosperity is wealth, health, and happiness. And that is true. It is true because, you see, most people define prosperity as being rich only. And that is a wrong definition. So, I know a man for being so, I know you get just a new idea. Na entisa and so. Yes, a sika, a ninja, any apomo, apomo den, and a tresser in sugar, when why ye? Na mejidise and no quaran so sa. Then we have another prosperity, which is spiritual blessing. Spiritual blessing, which is Ephesians 1 verse 3. This spiritual blessing does not belong to the whole way. It belongs to only those who are in Christ. Only those who are in Christ. Ephesians 1 verse 3. Whom whom we shall know. And then the Ewahoma Omoa Omoa Yesu Christomu. But God's general blessing belongs to everyone. And it can be wealth, it can be happiness, and it, it can be uh, 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 a, a good earth in your body. But we want to look at it very carefully. Why is it that people who sometimes have money goes and commit suicide? I don't know. Uh, example, example, we can start an example recently, 2008. Uh, there was a man in CNN, Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain was having a very good job. We have been watching him in CNN. He goes to places, eat food, drink, and then all of a sudden we heard he has committed suicide. And he left about $16 million in his account. So, as a prosperity bar, and the other year, come and be a no CNN. I, your friend, Anthony Bourdain. 